This subject has seen a recent uptick in recent years, maybe because more YouTubers are talking about the potential of a Tesla van. I made a few videos on it a while ago, and those are suddenly getting more views than they used to, so I thought updating my thoughts on it might be fun because, let's be real with ourselves, the next model for Tesla to produce is not a huge priority right now, okay? Elon Musk even sent out the email, we know Model Y is top priority, and ramping that thing with better quality control and making sure parts go together correctly, that should be key right now. And ramping battery production and getting the million mile battery working and yeah we get it they should focus on what they've already announced but eventually we know tesla has to come around on making more vehicles and not just improving on what they've already designed so there's a lot of different ideas of what kinds of vehicles tesla could make in the future but fundamentally i think the biggest ones that it comes down to right now is a subcompact mini tesla a commuter car for city usage versus a van which could be used as an ambulance could be used for delivery trucks, little commercial companies, and of course, Tesla mobile service is already using gas-powered vans, which I must say is a very bad look for the company because the whole stigma of the Tesla is in trouble and needs some work, so this gas van is going to show up and fix it. That just automatically sends a bad image. It puts a bad taste in everyone's mouth, and how stupid must you feel to be a Tesla mobile service member who's filling up the Tesla van with gas? Because they have to do that, right? It's got to feel weird for them to do it. I know from a cost perspective they kind of have to right now but if tesla was able to start moving on the van business i think they could really start bumping heads with a lot of their competitors because rivian of course has a contract with amazon to provide 100,000 all-electric delivery vans by the end of this decade which i'm hoping they can do i'm rooting for you rivian but man they have not delivered a single car yet so that is quite a milestone to have lingering over them but there's all kinds of pros and cons to going after the van market versus making even cheaper teslas than the the Model 3, which I can understand both perspectives. So I, like a lot of you, am not a Tesla owner, and it's not necessarily because I have something wrong with Tesla. It's mainly because I'm not in a great financial position to buy one, and driving is not something I do a lot these days. And I think a subcompact vehicle could be really, really popular overseas, particularly in Europe, where the smaller the car, a lot of the times that's the better because of how small the streets are, how small the garages are, and those types of vehicles can sell pretty well over there. And I think a lot of us just like the idea of a Tesla that has autopilot and has video games on it, has software updates, and you get all this future tech and supercharging access for a much, much lower price with a reduced range, but you don't really care because you're just going to be driving it around town. So having a range under 200 miles for that vehicle isn't going to be a big deal for you. So you want Tesla to go after that market so that we can inevitably get some type of $25,000 or $20,000 EV that still has Tesla branding, Tesla software, Tesla advantages. I totally get why so many of you want that and on on a personal note, I could probably take great advantage of a vehicle like that, but fact of the matter is, it's much more expensive to sell a bunch of people something for cheap than it is to sell a few people something at a higher price, which is why I think the Tesla van actually would make a lot more sense, because it is a billion dollar industry, there are a lot of vans on the road, and as we've seen from other EV startups and GM hoping to get into the electric van business before Tesla does, this is kind of competitive. There's a lot of commercial industries that are willing to spend big bucks on vans and the cost savings for electric vehicles speak for themselves. So in my opinion, it's almost kind of bizarre that Tesla really hasn't jumped on this yet. Elon Musk has made some tweets about partnering with Mercedes or some other van companies in the past, but those were years ago and they've never formulated into anything. But I think the primary reason the van could be helpful is because it wouldn't bottleneck battery production that substantially. Yes, even if you had a really, really small battery pack in that subcompact mini Tesla that was really, really cheap and really popular because lots of people could buy it and enjoy it. At the same time, though, you have to produce more of that vehicle than any other vehicle you're currently producing because once you start lowering prices and you can now buy Teslas at really, really low cost, that means increased demand. And that means there's going to be a bunch of people that aren't Tesla owners yet that would suddenly come out and want to buy one and you'd have to be able to scale production, not just for those battery packs, but also for the steering wheels, the displays, the bodywork. And it would take massive amounts of factory redesign to get to the point where they could actually meet demand of a Tesla that cheap, which is why, like I've said before, I don't expect Tesla vehicles to suddenly drop in price really substantially because Tesla wouldn't be able to meet demand that fast. So that's why you're not going to one day wake up and find out that Teslas are 10 grand cheaper than they are today. It's going to be a very slow and steady process of slowly working their way down a couple grand at a time. And yes, eventually, I think by the end of this decade, you will be able to buy a Tesla for under $25,000. But again, it's going to be a slow and steady process. Whereas 
as the van, this is a typically higher priced vehicle as it is. And the battery packs that go into it probably would not need to be much different than the battery packs going into the Model S or X per se. I don't think they would take the same battery packs as the Model 3 and Model Y, as those are kind of smaller cars and they're not really hauling that much equipment. Whereas the vans, of course, when you've got more weight and you're moving more stuff, you got worse efficiency. So making sure it's aerodynamic, of course, would be important. But at the same time, a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack that can, you know, take a Model S 400 miles could probably take a fully loaded delivery van well within the 200 to 250 mile department. So the range of this van would vary a lot depending on what it's being used for. You know, a delivery truck can be full of packages and that takes up a lot of weight, but there's also a bunch of YouTubers that would probably buy it for the Tesla van life. I mean, can you imagine with how many clicks van life videos get and how many clicks Tesla gets if they made a Tesla van? Oh my God, I think half of YouTube would basically sell their houses and move into vans, but the range would definitely be quite a variable, but knowing how Tesla handles power efficiency with their motors and how they're able to make their battery pack so energy dense in a cost effective manner, I imagine that the batteries they're currently manufacturing for the Model S and X could go into something like a Tesla van and demand for this van, of course, will not be insanely high. You know, it won't be as high as the Model 3 or Model Y, but they'll be able to produce them at a rate that matches that of what current market demand would be. Knowing it's Tesla, there'd probably be quite a bit of demand for this delivery van compared to any other delivery van. If you don't believe me, can you think of another event in live stream that was about a semi truck that was as exciting or as watched as the Tesla semi? There is absolutely a bit of a sheep mentality around Tesla. So as an active member of that sheep mentality, I could admit a van would be fascinating and a lot of people would be talking about it, despite most of them probably never planning on buying one. It's Tesla in Tesla drives clicks. So yeah, you could expect a lot of commercial industries to want to buy that thing up as soon as it's available. But I think it would be perfect with the armored glass that they're putting in the Cybertruck and on the Tesla Semi makes a whole lot of sense for commercial use. So being able to equip that in a larger van that has plenty of storage, you know, there's probably a lot of brands out there that aren't really going to hold their breath on the Cybertruck just because they either don't like the look or it doesn't quite fit the needs of what a van can offer. So they're going to keep using a van for work. And if Tesla was just able to test out the van, you know, maybe don't start selling it right away, but maybe the next couple years they unveil it, they showcase the practicality and the range of it. And before they start delivering it to consumers, they test it out by using it in their mobile service team. And now randomly people who are having work done on their Teslas will start to see the Tesla van show up. So it'll be kind of rare at first, but this is how Tesla can collect data on it and experiment with it. And Tesla's whole goal of accelerating our future towards more sustainable energy does involve making electric cars for every single application, right? It's not just about, well, making cars for most people. You know, they're kind of covering that. We've got crossovers, SUVs, sedans, pickup truck is now in the timeline. They've already unveiled the semi truck, which is all practically possible. It's just a battery production issue there. To showcase the Roadster. So what category have they not really explored much yet? The van, in my opinion, is kind of the perfect one. And I hate to put your dreams of the mini subcompact Tesla on hold, but I think they're going to have to wait until they have insane amounts of battery production scaling and can meet the demand of the current vehicles in the pipeline before they can do something like that. Whereas Tesla van would not require, I think, as much scaling as something like a $25,000 Tesla. And there's still plenty of room for profit because if you're going after the commercial industry, those are, you know, people with money in deeper pockets. So catering to those with more money in the short term, I think can make a lot more sense than catering to those who haven't bought a Tesla yet because because they don't have very much, so they're looking to save a pretty penny. Obviously, it'll be great if they did both of these models. I would also appreciate that very much, but in regards to Tesla's next model, what they should do after Cybertruck and after Roadster and Semi are all being mass-produced and on the road, I think van would make the most amount of sense. Huge market, lots of potential there, lots of room for billions, and we could finally get those ice-powered Tesla mobile service vans off the road, because, yeah. But of course, I'm just some guy on the internet. Why should you believe anything I have to say? Feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord, if if you have other thoughts as to what Tesla's next model should be. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.